Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Woo. We're starting to show off early. <laughs> no doubt. Because we're training like a champion this morning. No doubt. You hear me talk about this man often. Every day. <laughs> just about. Just about every day. Let me tell you the story, Heather B. First time I met the champ, he's not going to remember this. We were in Miami. Maybe 4 in the morning, I'm not sure, 4.30. <laughs> Rich Nice and me were hanging out. We were really on a mission. We were, seeing, okay, you know, we were right. creeping a well, little bit. We low, were low, doing low. something we shouldn't have been doing. All right. And we came up on this Cuban spot that they used to have on Collins, uh, Collins Ocean Boulevard. Across street from the, the Delano. The hotel? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. And we walked in, and we walked by Floyd, and I looked at Rich. I said, hey, man. Motherfucking Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> you grouped out? You was, Yo, you... mama, man, listen. The people I respect, the people that I know are special, that are, that are the champions in more than one way. Yeah, I, I become a groupie, right. Heather B. Right, 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 right. I was like, Rich, that's Floyd. Right. Floyd said hi. Because mm. I didn't know we could, you know, walk up to the champ. He might throw a combination on you. You never know. <laughs> yeah, your knuckle game. Was you up that day or what? Huh? No, nah, nah, my knuckle game ain't never been that up, All Heather right. B. Um... <laughs> And he was by, I mean, I don't know, you, you were actually by yourself that morning. Probably so. Yeah. Probably so. I was surprised about that. We, we shook hands, gave you your respect. Next time I saw, we were at the um, MTV Video Music Awards in Vegas. Okay. Yes. And we happened to be sitting at the same table. And uh, my brother, T. T. Calloway, looks just like Floyd, so we call him Floyd in Oakland. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Because when we was growing up, his combinations and his hand speed, when he used to whoop my ass being a younger brother, (laughs) we used to remind (laughs) us of Floyd Mayweather Jr. (laughs) Third time we met, well, actually we met a couple times between that, but third time I was at a Miami Heat game, and I've never witnessed this in my life, and I was hanging out with Birdman who wanted to give me the tour of Miami. And then we went under the, uh, in the back of the stadium where they kept the cars. Oh, I ain't never and been somehow there. Floyd's car, I don't know if it was the Phantom, I don't know, I don't know the name of those cars, <laughs> was parked inside the, the stadium. <laughs> where the players parked? I, yeah. Okay. And we hung out, I got a picture of that. Since then, man, it's been an absolute treat watching your evolution as not just a boxer, but as a man as well. Thank you. Thank you. you. Know, and I Thank often, you, Sway. Absolutely. I often say, man, y'all got this guy all wrong. You mm. got to look at him as a hero when you think about what you've accomplished, where you came Thank from. You. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, appreciate and, it. And where you are right now. So what? He talks a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> he earned the right to talk a lot of shit. I talk a lot of shit. You do. <laughs> do I talk a lot of shit? Tracy G <laughs> talks shit every day. Tracy G. Yeah, maybe sometimes. Yeah. Have the beer. You even pop off. Yeah, every day. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. But welcome to the show, the one, the only, the champ, pound for pound, best in the world, arguably the best that ever boxed. Give it up for Floyd Mayweather Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Money team is here. How you doing, Floyd? Sway, thanks for having me. The money team, themoneyteam.com in full force. Um, It's hard work and dedication. Yes. Prayers and belief in a good team. You know, I say that every day because that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, my man Ricky Brazil, P. Rilla, my team, Maria, Lil Kim, mm-hmm. Kelly Swanson, yeah. Kichi, and my man Big L. And the list goes on and on. We have a, a strong team, mm-hmm. a very, very positive team. It's about surrounding yourself with positive people, and that's where I'm where I'm at today. At first, I had a bunch of negative knuckleheads around me. Mm-hmm. But once I got the right team around me, the right people, the right, the right company around me, mm-hmm. there's no stopping me. You, it, it feels like um, we we were talking about this. A lot of people even comment that your 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 demeanor has changed since you did that time and you you came out. Now you're you're a free man again. Yes. And, I, and I've watched all every all access there is anything on you, Floyd. I'm that guy who's watched it ten times. And I and I appreciate yeah. the support Absolutely. and everybody that's tuning in. Yeah. You know, thank you for the support over the years. Mm-hmm. And um, it's been a long road. It's been a long road. You know, it's been a long road, you know, from where I come from, my background. Mm-hmm. As far as my mother being on drugs, my daddy doing time, you know, um, mother being sick, dad being sick, uncle being sick. Mm-hmm. 
but still fighting through everything to stay at the top. Mm-hmm. It's been a long road, but I'm I'm happy. You happy? Yes, I'm very happy. That's good to know, man. I want to open up the phone lines. Uh, 888-742-3345. The champ Floyd Mayweather Jr. is here with us. Little Kim, what little Kim is here? Well, you know, little, <laughs> I mean, little Kim is a is a legend. Yes, she's a legend, and um, she's family. She's always been family. She's a sweetheart, mm-hmm. and um, like you know, like when you listen to little Kim music, you think that. It's all entertainment because she's a beautiful person yeah. inside as well as outside. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she's always going to be a, you know, a part of my team. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Kim, what up, Kim? Yeah. What's up? I'm good to Woo! see you. The Queen B. Kim, you can't get on the mic with me. I ain't going to make you rap or nothing. Actually, I know I could. Oh, okay, Ooh. I won't. All right, all right, all right. All right, <laughs> all right I won't make you rap. Yeah, yes, yeah, Kim came. We, we went to Brooklyn. Yeah, let's get her a mic over here. I want to give you a chair and a mic. Come over here. Isn't it cool? You right there? All right, yeah, Lil' Kim is here. Give a round of applause. No, no, no. What is the nature of, of y'all relationship? You know everybody going to assume, Floyd, that you guys are having an intimate relationship. And- that's my sister. That's my family. Yeah, that's my family. We've been friends for, and family for a long, 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 long time. I is I love that man. There's yeah. nothing I wouldn't do for him. He's a great person as well as a great fighter. He, she always comes to training camp and show support. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah Kim comes to the training camp and show support. So um, she had a Mayweather uh, boxing club shirt on. You know, they always talk about uh, y'all in a relationship. I mean, <laughs> every time it's a, an attractive woman mm-hmm. or a woman that has heavy status behind her name, it's always they always make y'all a couple. And I'm going to always represent him. That's that's what friends do. You yeah. know, I'm going to support him. And I'm going to support her. She, she's family. And she going to make a, a huge comeback. Yeah. You know, coming soon. Okay. Are you guys doing business together? I mean, well, I'm going to support her yeah. no matter what it is. Mm-hmm. Whether it's financial, financially, mm-hmm. I'm going to support her and stand behind her and help promote her because we have the vehicle mm-hmm. um, in certain places where, where, the, where, the, where the people in music cannot touch in certain places where we can move music in certain in, in, in other places mm-hmm. that's true so so is that the future because kim and i hung out in brooklyn you know we want to do a documentary on her on showtime yeah that's, that's what's going on you yeah. know well, like you, 30 we, days in, like 30 days in may yeah yeah, yeah. raw and uncut yeah yeah, yeah. kind of like that yeah. <laughs> he, you got a lot of footage already too yeah i got a lot of footage of kim you got a lot of footage cause <laughs> yeah. i feel like they need heather this is this is my big break heather i'm going for mine right now Okay, because and I, that... I see a lot of these all accesses and back in the day, twenty four seven, and Floyd always got somebody doing the narration, right? That voice, you know, that's <laughs> telling the story, man. <laughs> I need you. Swear you got it, yo. Oh, man, you saying, heard it from man. the man himself. <laughs> you got it. Okay, I got. I think I got a, a part two yeah. Um, yeah, to okay. thirty days in May. And we need a voice. We need a voiceover. 30 days in May. You Floyd sound good. Mayweather. Ooh, you hear that? Right. Oh, man, I interviewed the president, Floyd. That didn't mean nothing to Floyd. He got so much money. It's like, oh, you know. <laughs> Floyd is like, okay, and, you know. Uh, man, what's this I'm reading? Like, you know, I always see Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber has the hardest time looking hard when he's hanging out with Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> always gives. That's my friend. That's my home. That's my. That's my friend. He's a good guy. He's a cool he's guy. He's a cool guy. Yeah, but he looks like he's nervous like he's on his best behavior when he's walking that route always the, always right? always i can respect that he's a good guy he's a good guy he's a good guy have you um have you has he sparred at all I mean, okay. actually he's spa- um he texts me a video footage of him sparring before uh-huh. and he could fight a little bit he could fight he could fight a little bit kind of shocked me uh-huh he can fight. I think I think you got him. Like, I know he's thrown a few punches, had a few paparazzi. I think that's from hanging out with Floyd. <laughs> you, know, you, you, see, you know, you got like you got rappers who got entourages who feel like they're the rapper, that they're the star. So, you know, if you get an entourage, they see you fight so much, they think their knuckle game is the same. Well, I got to give shouts out to YMCMB. Mm-hmm. You know, Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. Slim, Baby, it's nothing but love. It's nothing but love. You know, they're part of the money team. That's that. That's half of the, That's the other half of the money family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're good people. Um, yes. I read that you want to have Miley Cyrus bring you out to the, the twerk room. queen. The twerk queen. Yes, the twerk queen. Have you talked to her? Have you ever met her? 
Um, I don't I don't think so. Yeah. I seen her the other day. She um we was at the iHeart um radio mm-hmm. festival. Mm-hmm. Yes. So she was kinda moving kinda quick and I was kinda sitting back just relaxing. Mm-hmm. Behind the the Great Wall of China, that's what I like to call my security. The Great, <laughs> great Wall of China, those some big the, dudes. The man. Great Wall of China. They're not here. With, where are the where outside? Are the, they're, oh, they're yeah. right outside. Yeah. <laughs> protecting protecting this wall. Is that what it is? Yes. All right. Does anybody ever try to give you trouble? Though I can't even imagine that somebody's walked up on you. I'm not putting myself in in a position mm-hmm. to have any trouble. It's all about being positive mm-hmm. and surrounding myself with. People that are smiling every day. Only thing I want to do is impress God. That's what it's about. Wow, that's oh. what's up. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is here. We're going to take your calls. Heather's a big fan of yours, too. Heather B. Heather B. used to rap, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I go back old school. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, want, I told Leonard when he was here recently that despite of what people say about you, I think that you're good for boxing overall. I think boxing needs your voice. I think boxing needs your family, and I think boxing needs your personality. I wanted to know, you touched on a little bit about your business prior to and not having the right people around you, but you were still undefeated, not having the right people around you. How did you stay focused? I still got the will to win in the inside, no matter what. Mm. You know, through all the tough times, you still got to have the will to win through it all, and you still have to work extremely hard. But once we got the team together because at one particular time Leonard was I mean I got to take my head off to Leonard because Leonard and Al when I got them two together to meet together and and with my input with different game plans we took things over the top but I cannot leave Ricky Brazil out of the equation or James McNair you know those two have been my right hand man, and they stood be they stood next to me and supported me. And they had some great ideas, mm-hmm. also as far as social media, because I didn't know nothing about Instagram and Twitter, Twitter. Yeah. until you know uh, uh, James McNair, which is AKA P. Rilla and Ricky Brazil, told me about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then um, we got another guy, John, who runs my Twitter and my Instagram, mm-hmm. because I'm too busy because I'm always trying to take things to that next level, mm-hmm. to that next level, because we we truly believe that Mayweather Promotions is the past, the present, and the future mm. of sports and entertainment. Mm-hmm. We truly believe that. But once we got the right pieces to the puzzle, that's when there was no stopping us. So, so was John the one who uh, tweeted? John was the one that tweeted that thing with, Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, okay. or put it on Instagram and, and Twitter. Mm-hmm. I didn't do that because I don't run my Twitter and my Instagram page. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I monitor my page from time to time. What I do to see what's going on my, on my Instagram page, I go, to, I Google my name. Mm-hmm. I Google my name with Instagram behind it, and I go to my profile and look mm-hmm. and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Basically, what was tweeted. I mean, what was put out on Instagram or what was put out on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So once I found out that he done that, I apologize because that wasn't right. Yeah, that wasn't so. Yeah, right. You don't feel that way about. I don't. I'm not. I'm not upset with Oscar Dolhoy at all. I mean, I mean, I mean, I I wish him nothing but the best. Do I I, do? Do I feel he's a little jealous of me? Absolutely. Yeah, I feel that, but I don't wish him nothing better. I don't have nothing negative to say about anyone, even like Canelo. Mm-hmm. I want I want him to be able to bounce back and hopefully he can fight on my undercard. Come, we can fight a double header in May. <laughs> <laughs> back on the undercard? No, but <laughs> but but it's, but, it, but you in a win win situation when yeah. you're fighting on pay per view. Yeah, it's a different type of money mm-hmm. when you're fighting on pay per view. Whereas you if you're fighting on just regular cable network, you can make three million. Yeah. You know, three million, three and a half million. But if you're fighting on pay per view, he got a chance to make you know four or five million. Whereas mm-hmm. in my situation, like I said before, I got the right team. To get me somewhere a guaranteed of forty two million, forty one and a half million, mm-hmm. and then on the back end make another sixty million. So to make thirty to make a hundred million dollars in thirty six minutes, I gotta take my hat off to my team. They do a, a, tr- a tremendous job. What the fuck am I doing here? Working. Why what am I doing? I, I got the wrong you, game plan in life. You put in four hours over here. <laughs> <laughs> thirty six dollars. It ain't ain't the same. Um I want to talk about the fight. Uh, I want to allow the, uh, these listeners to talk to you as well. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is here. I love the show. They say Shade 45. Thank you very much. 
You know what it is, Oakland's finest. You got you got a Yay Area uh, representative. Uh, yeah, in there my too. assistant, one of my assistants. Yeah, she's from the Bay Area. She's from Oakland. We got to be well rounded. We got to have people from everywhere. Oh, you know we got games. The in East the Bay, Coast, man. the West Coast, down south, uh, everywhere. Everywhere. Yo, Heather Floyd rapping now. Really? <laughs> Not really. Don't beat on one. Don't beat on one. Come on, one. I bet you are Floyd. I'll jump in. Let's go. No, one, two, one, two. No, one, no, one, no, one, no, one, two, one, two, one, two. And my time, name is man. Heather with Floyd Mayweather. Oh. You know I can converse. <laughs> Nobody does it better. He's right to the right, the champ beside of me. Get on the mic, you with the money team. From the streets of Grand Raggedy, now major plan in Vegas. For years, haters tried to play this now. Take the knuckles, ring the bell and watch you like a motherfucker through the turnbuckles. I swell your eye, lump your nose in 12 minutes, jumping back in my street clothes. Yo! Floyd got a flow! Early, too. He jumped the right on it. On Sway, where your verse at? <laughs> Kim, come on, Kim. It's a moment right here, Kim. Kim, you this is a moment bike. right here, Kim. <laughs> this is a moment. Who's ever, like, like freestyle with Floyd Mayweather on Shade 4 or 5? <laughs> I having fun, man. man come we on, got a little life. Damn, man, Floyd. He killed that too. Yo, Floyd, you got music coming out soon too, right? Yeah, man. Wayne got something coming out real soon. Yeah, so yeah. You and Wayne are coming out. Are y'all gonna do it on Young Money or, or are you gonna do TMT or uh, probably or both. both? Well, well, you know, we got a, a compilation coming out. Uh, the first guy that's coming off. Of Filthy Rich Records is um, Earl Hayes. Earl Hayes, oh, that's Earl right. We've yeah. heard about and he lived Earl in the, Hayes. And he, he played that Bay Area real, real tough. He's originally yeah. from Detroit. Uh huh. So, and um, of course, whoever listening right now, I got to plug myself. Uh, follow me on at Floyd Mayweather on Instagram or Twitter. Follow Kim. Follow uh, And my guy, Ricky Brazil, got a clothing line also. TheMoneyTeam.com, but Ricky Brazil, he has clothing for females. Uh, MayweatherPromotions.com. I got to plug every company because... And Shade 4 5, the best station in the nation. You're hearing it from the best of the best, TVE. So it's a sway in the morning, man. Floyd Mayweather. Tracy, go ahead. <laughs> Floyd, now obviously a lot of people love you. You're the champ. But I've noticed that rappers are really like, I don't know, there's a lot of enthusiasm when they speak about you. So I was curious, thinking in the hip-hop world, what rappers do you think could hold their own in a ring? Not necessarily with you, but just in general, you think would make for good boxers. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. 50 Cent, 50 Cent probably can go a little bit. 50 got hands. Yeah, he got hands. Yeah, 50 game. can go a little bit. Yeah. You know, I seen him working at Joe, my Uncle Roger. So, so 50 Cent, he can go. Yeah. He can fight. Didn't he punch you once? No, no, no. That never happened. That's all. All entertainment. All entertainment. All for entertainment purposes. 50 punched me once in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, but 50 trained. You know, he. he, he yeah, he worked with my Uncle Roger before, so you oh. can tell he got a lot of experience. So, uh -huh. you know, he, he got a little hand game on him. Now, Adrian came here. Adrian Broner came here. Lil' A.B. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cool guy. He rapping, too. Who raps better out of you and him? Um, Y'all have a battle? I'll let the people be the judge of that. Okay. All you right. know, I think that he's a rapper. I'm a game spitter. Okay. Mm. Mm. You know, because, okay. you know, I, I, I just say I don't knock anyone. You know, I like Adrian Broner. But yeah. me, myself, everything I talk about is what I really live. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as Bugattis. Mm-hmm. Mansions, properties around the world. I'm really living the life. Mm -hmm. But Adrian Broner, he's he's up he, he's he's up and coming. He's next. He's next, right? He he said he would never fight you. Y'all would never fight. You know, uh, people are gonna ask for that fight. I mean, I don't think that. Like I always said, I don't think Daniel's son ever tried to fight Mr. Miyagi. Uh, so you know, and the, the student, I, the student I, I, I look at. Yeah. You know, I don't just teach him moves about boxing. I teach him about business and about life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, but he's learning how to turn it on and mm -hmm. turn it off mm -hmm. when it's time to entertain and when it's time to relax. Mm -hmm. But Adrian Bronis, he's a young, strong champion, and I'm proud of him. You know, we had um, another fighter up here. When, when Leonard came up, we talked uh, to Leonard about this uh, UFC fighter, Anderson Silva, who's uh -huh. a champion in his own right. Yes. And um, I didn't realize that there was 
in his mind, something going on between you and him, at least. It caught me off guard. I had him on the show, and I asked him, what do you think of Floyd Mayweather Jr.? And this is what he said. All uh, right, I'm respect this guy, but the Mayweather is the is the good good boxing. Yeah. This is my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I need to talk too much because the guy no respect to me. I respect the older guys in the world is the, because uh, Mayweather is the part, the story, the sport in the world. I'm part of the sport in the world. Uh, Mayweather need to respect this, but this guy no respect nothing. Sorry, but I no respect Mayweather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you make of that, man? Um, I pray for him. He okay. You okay? You pray for him. <laughs> I pray for him. He you okay. Do, do, I, I don't have nothing negative to say about. That guy Anderson Silva, uh -huh. you know, um, I seen some highlights on him. I don't really know, you know, who, who Anderson Silva. I don't know. I don't know him personally, uh -huh. but I've seen highlights of him uh -huh. fight, and um, hopefully he can bounce back. I heard he just took a, a, a L, so hopefully he can bounce back from that loss. Yeah, you got to fight a uh, rematch. Floyd, man, his pol his po his politi his political game, man. Yeah, it's different. My gosh, man, He's the, you running mind tricks on these cats, man. Uh <laughs> I mean, you know, when I'm in a position that I, I'm in, you know, as far as with Showtime and CBS, yeah, and I sleep good at night, yeah, you know, I'm happy, so I ain't got nothing bad to say about nobody. What kind of other investments do you make? You say you got, <laughs> you got homes around the world, like I'm, you know, I got. Real estate, mm -hmm. heavy in the real estate, mm -hmm. commercial real estate, extremely heavy. Okay, all right. Yeah, we talking somewhere in the okay. Well, you, the way you, you up there, of, up there. Yeah, okay, uh, a couple hundred million. It's up there. It's up there. Yeah. <laughs> so your your net worth now is, is at half a billion. Is it at a billion? <laughs> I mean, what you think? Is yeah, that what they say? Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what they say. That's what they say. Half a billion. Yes. I quit after this show. I'm hanging out with the money team. I'm good. That's it. Thank you, Shade45, MTV, for the opportunities. I'm team money team now, all right? Um, we're going to take some phone calls. 888-742-3345. Um, let's go to Cincinnati. We got um, me on the line, on line six, Cincinnati. Mia, good morning. How you doing? Oh, my God. I've been on hold forever, but I guess I'm okay. I'm sorry, Mia. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you got a question for Floyd? How you doing, Mia? I'm okay. I don't have a question. I just wanted to say that this year was the first time I have actually seen one of your fights. And I was kind of nervous but really excited. I didn't know what to expect. And just to kind of give you a feel for what was going on in my house, people were coming in for the party with Coronas and tequila. And I thought that everybody was on your team by default, so I was kind of confused. But once the fight started... I guess it was just an awesome experience for me because you really just kind of slowed down and took your time and whooped his ass. And I thought that that was awesome because there was no rushing on your behalf. It was just kind of a slow walk. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just sat back and watched it happen. And I just wanted to say thank you for an awesome performance. I probably blew your Twitter page up that day. <laughs> so excited. Thank you. It was like thank one you. of the best experiences I ever had. Well, we truly believe in the less you get hit, the longer you last in the yeah. sport. That's why I've been able to last in the sport 17 years. It's like Picasso painting the picture. Mm -hmm. Just take my time and go, go go out there and get the job done in the right way. Who who was, in your opinion, because um, I was going over a list of your fights in the past, and, I, and I've seen every one of them. Um, who do I feel? Diego Corrales, to me, was a a, 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 a great competition between you and him. But um, Castile... Um, well, I was really fighting with the Castillo fight. You yeah. know, I had a, a torn rotator cup. Okay. But I was the, really The fight. first fight. But even, I still beat him. But I feel like if you just watch the fight and put it on mute, yeah, he got beat easy. Okay. You know, you got. I'm fighting everybody. I'm not just fighting the fighter. I'm fighting the, the judges. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting the referee. I'm fighting everybody. Mm -hmm. You so know, even if you the do, media, everybody. Yeah, you're mm. fighting everybody. Who was your toughest fight to date, in your opinion? A guy, but when I fought him, his name was Emmanuel Burton. Mm-hmm. Emmanuel Augustus. Now, that's just, I think he changed the name to Emmanuel Augustus. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What, what, what was it? A and actually, he had a. Um, he was like twenty three and sixteen. Yeah. But he used to take fights on a three day notice and mm -hmm. go to guys' hometown to get cheated. Mm -hmm. But he give you hell. Yeah. He tough. Yeah. He was tough. He, I had took nine months off when I, I faced him and I went up to a, a higher weight class. Mm-hmm. 
but he was solid. He was solid. Um, this dude Canelo, they said he he had hands of of you know of cement, and you know and we saw him catch you in the body a few times. Was it a difference in the strength of his punches as compared to a Cotto or or a, a Mosley or if if I was to bet if him and Cotto was to fight after being in the ring with both fighters, mm -hmm. I would bet it won't go to distance. It won't go. Really? It won't go to distance. Because I've been in there with both. Yeah, they both hit hard? They're both strong. They're both strong. They're both strong. Of course, they both, I mean, when, with, with Cotto having all those knockouts and mm -hmm. Canelo having all those knockouts, both guys can, they, they know they're solid. They can punch. They're strong. Now, is it over, in your opinion, for Manny? Um, He's with his company, and he's with, he has a boss. I'm mm -hmm. my own boss, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. And um, the guy that he's he's with, I used to do business with, but now, um, I'm the fighter and the promoter, so I'm happy with my career, and I wish him nothing but the best mm -hmm. in his career. I know he took um, two losses back to back, and the last loss he took was extremely crucial. Mm -hmm. um, I had a chance to face Marquez, and um, Marquez is a, is a tough competitor. It wasn't tough for me, but he's a tough competitor, mm -hmm. and I wish uh, <laughs> many nothing but the best. <laughs> We heard that. Um, you and Fifty, man, y'all are y'all y'all at a better place now, or? I mean, we haven't spoken. We haven't spoken yeah. over a year now. I don't know when the last time we spoke, but I'm proud of him. Yeah, I'm proud of Fifty. Yeah. I mean, I wish him nothing but the best with his company. You know, mm -hmm. as far as with SK, mm -hmm. uh, with his fighters, I wish him you know nothing but the best. Yeah, I think Fifty one of the smartest um, businessmen to ever come out of. Um, Hip hop, out mm -hmm. of rap music, mm -hmm. yeah. Now I, I love when I used to see you two together, man. It was just oh well, we had you know we had fun. You had a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Now let me ask you some more boxing questions, Floyd. This is it, man. Ooh, this ooh, is it. Ooh, okay, ooh, now ooh, the, some of the ooh. legends in the uh, welterweight. Oh <laughs> damn, let me see what that look like. Yes, wait, let's see something. Let's see something. Don't hit me though. Can I see what it looked like coming? It's slow. Okay, all right. Sugar Ray Leonard. He was a welterweight. Right? Sure, yeah. Yep. He beat my dad at welterweight. He beat your dad at welterweight. Yes. I, I saw that fight. It's, no, we got, it's, so, it's crazy how we connect. Yeah. Okay. Sugar Ray Leonard beat my dad. Mm -hmm. But then Camacho beat Sugar Ray Leonard. Mm -hmm. De La Hoya beat Camacho, and I beat De La Hoya. Damn. Yep. Damn. Six degrees of separation. <laughs> yes. Of ass whippings, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, if... You, how would you think a fight? You know, people often say like the. Class, I think that's one of the reasons why I think you could pick these guys apart. You have that that knowledge of sixth boxing, sense. yeah, and that sixth sense, right? That intangible, uh, kind of like the Ray Leonard's, the Thomas Hearns of their era, the Haglers of their era. Yes. Um, how do you think you would? I mean, I know it's a hypothetical, but do you think those dudes would have fought you better than the guys that fight you today? I can't really say. I really don't know. Yeah. Um, like I said before, um, everything happens for a reason. This is my era, mm -hmm. I guess. And um, Sugar Ray Leonard was a hell of a fighter. Marvin Hagler, mm -hmm. Tommy Hearns, those guys were remarkable. Mm -hmm. A Whitaker. Oh man, mm -hmm. Whitaker, yeah. He was a, he was a, one of the best. One of the best, right? One of the best, yeah. There it is. What about fighters? Like, how do you choose? Who's gonna be the like? Who's left to fight for you? Like, what you got? What four more fights left yes. with the Showtime deal? Four more fights. Okay, so I did my own assessment. I figured, uh, Bradley, mm -hmm. uh, potentially if he wins his next fight with Marquez, um, Devon, uh, De was it Devin? Uh, uh, um, what's his, the left hander? Uh, Devin is it Devin? What is it? You Devin, Alexander. Alexander. Dev, Dev, yeah. Devin Alexander. He don't even got a name. <laughs> I watch, he finally he finally even got names no more. I beat all the names. He finally got names no more. Devin Alexander. I know Devin Alexander. My bad, Devin. That's two. People always would love to see that Manny Pacquiao fight, even though it, it doesn't business wise seem like he would fight. That would happen. That's three. Who would be the fourth? Or who who are y'all considering next? I don't know. You don't know. Um, I know Martinez said he he wanted to fight you too. Uh, Bradley, Bradley is okay. with he's with uh, another company. Okay, he's with the same company mm -hmm. that Pacquiao is with. 
Uh, they're with a company that want to keep everything in house. Okay. And um, so those two fights are basically off the table. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you know, people don't really understand this is a, a business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a business, and people said that I would never break my record far as with Oscar De La Hoya. Mm-hmm. And guess what? We did it. Y'all did it. We did yeah. it. Yeah. What did it gross? Like one hundred and fifty <laughs> million or something. And steady growing, yeah, still growing. And with that Delahoy fight, I think we done one thirty two. So now we sh- we think we over. We didn't even add up all the numbers, so we well over, uh, over one hundred and fifty million now. Now you you never have uh, close to two. Close we should to be close to two hundred million now. Yeah. Two hundred million for that one fight. Yes, and it, and it's steady growing, worldwide growth and everything. So it's still coming in. We just talking about just in the U S. alone. Damn, what I know. Are, yeah, man, what you you quit, I'm quit. Sway. I quit. I, I know. This is my last day. <laughs> <laughs> about to leave right. with the <laughs> Floyd Mayweather Jr., thank you very much. My There's dude. a lot of guys that could learn from, you know, what it is you've done with your life that have come from nothing. You know, do the research. If you don't know this man's backpack, his past. Mm. Oh, and man. that's why I like you. I grew up in Oakland. We grew up under, you know, we had food stamps. And now yes. we're doing great. You know mm. what I mean? Well, we're doing better. You oh know, yeah, you know, yeah. You know, and so I, I think a lot of young men in the streets could uh, really, really. I'm talking about the ones in the street that right. need to. One time I was talking to Pac before he passed, and he told me that I want to make music that reaches that that's going to attract and say the things that everybody in the street want to hear, and then when I get them following me, I'm gonna flip it and tell them everything that they need to hear. And I feel like you're walking that path right now. Yes. Well, what we what we do is this. What we try to do is this. We tell everybody, Forrest, you, you have to believe. You can't just say it. You really have to believe. Everybody is, is blessed with a skill. And everybody is blessed with a certain talent. Mm-hmm. You have to know what your talent, you have to know what your talent is. You have to know what your skill is. And you have to maximize it and push it to the limit. It is. Even though I'm 36, mm-hmm. I still go in the gym and work like I don't have anything. Even though I'm leaving from a a mansion with a, all car, a lot of cars and everything, I'm still dedicated to my craft. I'm still hungry. When I go into that gym, I feel we are all equal. Everybody is broke. It's about who wants it more. Mm-hmm. And I I'm and I want to outwork the young guys. Mm. I want my name to forever live on. Mm-hmm. When they talk about boxing, I don't want them to mention nobody else but me. So that's why I work so hard. Floyd Mayweather Jr., ladies and gentlemen. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.